Well, hey guys. So it's halfway through this, so I figured I better make a video about it because everyone's gonna be asking what the hell. Well, as you can tell, I'm at home here working on the car on the trailer. And uh, you can see by that and that, I'm taking the fucking straps off. So it's a nice balmy minus 10. Oh. I figured, see if the car will start. If it does, I'll take it off today. So it did start. I like my straps, huh? <laughs> oh. So basically, damn it. Uh, damn two handed jobs in the camera. So basically, now that you can probably hear me actually too. Um, Basically, the, the truck deal did not go through. God damn it. Oh. So what was supposed to happen, that didn't. This car, in all its pristine glory, was supposed to be traded for a 76 F350 crew cab. It's always awesome on the back. So, too long didn't read. It didn't fucking happen. So I hauled this car 600 some kilometers round trip for a deal that didn't happen. Now some of you guys might be going, well that sucks. But after looking over that truck, and going with him and looking over this car, I couldn't pass up the car. Oh, I think I might have just idled down a little bit. We looked it over, top to bottom, underneath, and the paint and everything. He said there's no doubt that this is an authentic and actual 79,000 kilometer vehicle. Uh, I don't know what all you can see under there, but uh, looks pretty original. Looks pretty good. Still gotta get another strap undone. Still. Oh, Ooh, she's nice in here. Well, as you can see, seventy-nine thousand five hundred forty-eight kilometers. And uh, that has come off, and that has come off inside. There's still plastic around the rear defrost there, like. Uh, this thing's fogging up inside. Hot, cold, hot, cold. Snow on the boots. Oh, lots of fun. So anyhow, you know, the truck deal did not go through solely because I did not want to trade this car for that truck. Um, some guys might think I'm nuts, but I think this car is probably a $5,000 bill. Like, it is a Buick, it is a Park Avenue. Not exactly the most sought after vehicle out there, but it is like new. You know, tires, heater core, battery. Well, those are some things that are good, which by the way, it looks like I need some air. But uh, truck I was looking at, 76 S350 crew cab. Well, I don't know. If I would have known some of the stuff, I wouldn't even gone and looked at it. But you see, like, there's this rubber seal here between the windshield or the window and the door. Well, the back two doors were missing that. The foam that goes all the way around, it was missing that. The sliding rear window on the back, like, how my truck is, one of the full size ones, like, for him, there's a uh, bars bar two bars and a bar with the two pieces of glass they're missing bars interior was missing pieces uh, had lights up in here lights under the dash and I go like, what the hell and he's like oh the interior light doesn't work 
under there was a bunch of rats nest wiring under the ignition and everything I was just like I couldn't do that all covered in snow mine's nice and cleaned off had to boost and start it water pump looked like it was leaking I just I just walked away I just you know suck up the uh, hundred dollars of diesel for 600 kilometers that's pretty freaking awesome actually uh, <laughs> and uh, back home I guess so anyhow when I get this unstrapped I'm gonna get it off the trailer park it back over there I'm gonna see if I can prop her up in the dash this time or something for when I take it off the trailer and as you see there's been pricks driving through my yard going around where the trailer's sitting and last time it wasn't this that far back like tracks in there and uh, they were driving around it still there and just it's because it's a cul-de-sac they don't like coming to a dead end and not being able to go another way but anyhow before the sunlight runs out I gotta get this done okay straps all done put away didn't wrap them up with a dam ramps are down bars are out of the way time to give her a spin I think I'm just gonna sure I can go around go like over there over there see what I can figure out here for getting this thing mounted and I guess turn the defrost on okay here we go I don't think it's usually good that the freaking car spins turn that fan off Should never operate the power windows in the fucking winter, but wow. So hit the button. If that isn't enough to scare the shit out of you, I don't know what is. It's bad enough doing that with the truck. Yeah, I'm clear. There we go, now I just gotta put those friggin' ramps back together. Now I know it would be not a good thing to do, but this car does have plates on it. Could take it for a rip, but see all that brown stuff on the road? That means no. I'm gonna get this back into place now. Turn my rear defog on. And I should be able to back right in where it was. Further, because my truck sits here. And I know the front was pretty level with these barrels. Oh, I think we're all right. I think we're in alignment. So there we go. Oh. So there we go, we won't see this scene again until spring, I promise. <laughs> so we have 79,548.1 kilometers on here. And uh, I did put some fuel in because summer stuff. Oh, battery. All right, well, it's all on me, the battery's dying, so let's get over to that trailer, get it done, wrap it up. Car's off trailer, car parked, truck is parked, oh garbage, because today was garbage day, damn, <laughs> but that's it, so I guess moral of the story is, 
you don't get your ducks in a row before you go and check out the hen. But anyhow, his uh, AVE was a keep your dick in a vice.